Hi, it's Rory. I uh, thought we'd just uh, go over a, an update video to how to set up the client for development in case you want to how create new tabs, fix bugs, etc. So there's a few things you need first. So you're going to need to download IntelliJ IDEA. If you have Ultimate or Community, it doesn't really matter. You can, you can be either. Uh, you're also going to need the latest Java JDK, so we're using OpenJDK 15 at the minute, as well as you're going to need Git. All these will be linked in the description below. So once you've installed, once you've downloaded and installed your Git, Java, JDK and IntelliJ, go ahead and open up IntelliJ. Once IntelliJ is opened, you'll be welcome with a screen. You want to use get from VCC, VCS, version control. Uh, we're going to use the repository URL. So in here, we're going to go to the FAF GitHub and get the link from there. So if you go over to GitHub and go to the downloads client repository, uh, this will be linked in the description as well. You want to go to code and literally just click on this button here, which will copy this string for us. And it should paste that in there and just press clone. And I'll start copying over the repo into IntelliJ for us. So now IntelliJ is opened. Give it a minute. So you can start, see down here, it's starting to do a few things. So it's imported it in. And now it's going to take a minute as it's importing everything over and uh, building the project for us. So building all the files that we need for the client. This may take a couple of minutes. While that's going, we can do some other things that we need for this. So what you need to go to is file and then go to project structure. Here you want to make sure your SDK is set to the Java JDK that we you installed. So for this will be 15. In the future this may change so just check the readme file and you can leave everything else as default there as well as you want to come over to gradle you want to click on this wrench and go to gradle settings and you want to make sure that your gradle jvm is set to project the same uh, stk as the project once that's fine now you can see while we're doing that the uh, it's all imported, all the files are here, so that's all set to go. What you want to do now is do Control shift a on Windows, and then type in plugins. And then here, you want to make sure you have the Loombook plugin. So this one, it may be, I think now it is part of IntelliJ. But if you if this isn't installed for you, make sure you install this and it will ask you to restart. So just restart IntelliJ and then come back. Also again, do control shift A and then type in enable annotation processing and literally just press the tick box, apply and OK. And once you've done these simple steps, just press the play button at the top. Give it a few minutes. I'll give it a couple of seconds. Once that is done, it should launch the path client. First time compile will take a bit. And here we go. Path client is launched. So from here on now, you're ready to be able to start messing around or developing for the path client. Uh, this is Rory, the promotions counsellor. Just thought I'd do this quick update. Thanks uh, for joining FAF and helping out.